The foam round wreath forms at Dollar Tree are so easy to work with. Hey, Bestie, it's Lisa. Welcome or welcome back. If you want to craft your best life with me, then let's get started right now. For this Dollar Tree foam wreath form, we're going to take an old pair of jeans. These were my husband's and I made him give them to me. I know we usually donate them, but I wanted to make a craft. So I'm going to cut off that, you know, hem at the very bottom and I'm going to just gonna go up the length and start cutting little strips. You can make them as wide as you want. I think mine were probably about an inch or so. And, and I just cut as many as it would take to get around the whole thing. Now, the next thing I did though, was I cut off that seam. I'm just gonna tie it around and make a knot. That is it. And then I'm gonna pull it forward so the knot's kind of around the outside of the wreath form. I am literally gonna do that all the way around. Make sure I'm covering all of the green foam. If you need to cut more once you've done that, because they do shrink up a little bit as you tie them, do what you need to until you get enough to go all the way around. Or if you want, you could do wider strips, totally your choice. I like the look at the end with the one inch strips. Again, personal preference. There's no right or wrong way to do it. If you hear wind chimes, dogs barking, or wind, I am sitting out on a three Susan porch at my sister-in-law's house in North Carolina, so excuse the extra noises, but I wanted to get this video ready. Here I am just over halfway around. And this is the whole thing. Now, obviously the ends are way too long, so we're just gonna go around and trim them and you can make them as long as you want. I did have to make some adjustments because you know, you get around to the other side and it's longer than it, you thought it was. I'm gonna take these beautiful flowers, these larger ones I got from Amazon, and they're stunning, they're peonies. They're my favorite ones I've ever found so far. Very reasonable price too. Anyway, I'm gonna trim down the leaves and the stems, and I'm, but I'm gonna stop and add that hanger because you know me, I often forget to do it. So I'm just gonna do kind of like a lark's head knot to pull it around the wreath form. You won't even notice it because I'll put the flower over it, tie a little knot at the top, trim off the excess, and now we've got our hanger. So now I'm going to put a good amount of hot glue there and I'm going to add the leaves first. I like to do the pieces separately. That way I know it won't fall off and then add that flower right in the center. And then I've got this other little bouquet that I think I got at Dollar Tree a long time ago. I'm going to pull off some little pieces with the little flowers and I'm going to put a few on each side. I do like to like pull it out. I don't want just the one flower. I do like that look of bunches. And then of course I've got this. I think they're eucalyptus from um, Amazon store and I'm just going to go ahead and cut some pieces of that off and put them on either side. Honestly, that's all there was to this one. You could add more, you could do less, whatever you like. But I love the look of the jeans. I think it's so, so pretty. Have you guys ever used jeans to craft? I think I, because I've got these jeans, I think I'm going to add a few in here and there, you know, on my channel with some jeans just to show you what you could do like a trash to treasure. Anyway, I hope you like them. For this Dollar Tree foam round wreath form, I'm gonna use these beautiful kind of coastal themed napkins and then this ribbon I got, oh my gosh, it was so, so cheap, 89 cents, it's a lot of ribbon. And then I've got some more and that was all from Hobby Lobby. They do have great ribbon when they're on sale, it's a great deal. And then I've got sand dollars and a starfish from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the plies on the napkins. So what you do is take a piece of tape on the back and then it makes it really easy to just pull it apart. And this one is a three ply and this one it kind of pulled apart when i did the first one i'm literally just going to cut strips again you could do this any way you want i did find that strips were a nice easy way to get the reef covered and i'm going to use mod podge to get it on there so i'll put mod podge on first and then do pieces of the napkin and then add mod podge over the top but i'm going to do the top part after because otherwise my hands are going to get super sticky and it's going to pull the napkin off. So I'm going to try to keep my hands as dry as possible, wiping them in between, and then use my brush to try to help lay down the napkin. See what I'm doing there? That way I don't have to get my fingers super sticky. You really can't use a brayer on a round piece like this. I like that the green showed through a little because it kind of goes with that beachy color scheme. So this worked out. Otherwise, I would have painted the wreath form white first. There it is, all decoupaged. I've got this blue and white twine. I think I got that at Dollar Tree too. I'm going to do a lark's head knot for a hanger, pull it through, tie a knot at the top, and then just cut off the excess. And that way our knot is done and we don't have to forget about our hanger. I'm going to take this fix all adhesive and a combination of hot glue and I'm going to put the starfish and the sand dollars on there. I just want to put it all on one side. Again, this is personal preference. You could decorate this wreath all the way around if you want, whatever you like. 
So you know when you buy things like rocks and marbles at Dollar Tree, it comes in this kind of netted plastic stuff? I save it. And you know, come on, all of us crafters, we save everything, right? Well, guess what? I knew I'd use it. And doesn't it look like kind of fish netting? And I just glued it on around the back and put it over the starfish and the sand dollar. And I think that adds the coolest summer coastal look. I love it. Anyway, just a little tip there, something you can do with those plastic netted containers. I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm just going to fold it over a bunch of times, you know, twice as many times as you want loops. That's how you do it. And so whatever you want, I think I did it like four times or three times. So I'd have two or three loops on each side. Then I'm going to cut it. Now I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to measure out like a tail size. I'm going to hold it up to my wreath and then hot glue it. And that way I don't have to worry about creating a tail out of my bow. I'm not as good at that. So if I do the tail separately, it just makes my life so much easier. And then I'm going to go and dovetail the ends. Just fold them in half and cut a little triangle upward. Now I'm going to take a piece of twine, go right in the center of this, you know, ribbon that I folded in half, tie it really tight, and I'm going to start pulling out the loops. You've got to use wired ribbon for this because you can shape them. If it's not wired ribbon, it doesn't hold its shape as well. So if you do that, I'd recommend smaller, much narrower, smaller ribbon. Anyway, it's starting to look really cute. And just keep, you're going to fuss with this forever. And then I found this ribbon um, at Hobby Lobby that has little pom-poms on it. I'm going to wrap it around a bunch of time, times until the pom-poms cover the front. Cut it off, glue it on, and there's the center of my ribbon. I thought it was so pretty, to, the white to match the starfish and the sand dollar. That's it for this one. You could add more, have less, whatever you want. I think it turned out stunning. Oh my gosh. Even though I put seashells on the side, I could have put them on the wreath. So it's up to you, but I think the colors are gorgeous. For this Dollar Tree foam round wreath, I've got these ribbons. I don't use them all. I end up only using the plaid one. I've got this amazing box cutter from Amazon. It's ergonomically correct, so it just ha it sits in my hand really nicely, and it, my hand doesn't cramp up when I'm using it. Now, I do have to kind of go all the way around because this piece is thicker than the blade, but look how easy that snapped apart. And then I just did the same thing where I wanted to cut it. I'm going to be making a rainbow, although it's not going to be traditional colors of a rainbow. It's going to be this ribbon. So what I'm going to do is go around around all of this piece and cover the whole thing with the ribbon and the way I chose to do it was using one piece at a time so it didn't get all twisted and sideways I wanted each piece to go around itself does that make sense and if I had to go further around you'd see how you you have to twist it and that's when I decided how I was going to do it so I'll just cut it off attach it and do the next piece and the next piece and the next piece until I get the entire thing covered and I chose to use hot glue of course you can use fabric tat, tacky glue, whatever you want, whatever works for you. I just wanted to keep working and hot glue did the trick. And I tried to make all the seams be underneath or on the back. I'm going to take some twine and on this one, I'm not going to do a lark's head knot. I'm just going to tie like a little loop and I'm going to glue that to the back and just kind of make sure it's attached, put some tape over it. And that's it because this one, I don't want it to show in the front at all. So this is the best way that I found to do that and just kind of cover it up. And you can't see that from the back other than the little loop. Got some cotton balls and I'm just going to take them and attach them to both ends and make it look like clouds at the end of each part of the rainbow. I thought this would look really cute in a little kid's room, a nursery, even a teen room. I think that'd be fun. So if you're looking for something to do for your kids or grandkids, what a fun thing. This also would be a fun craft to do with the kids because it's pretty darn easy. So what do you think? I love to throw in some super easy crafts because we don't always have time for the big elaborate crafts, but this one you could do in probably 10 minutes. Let me know. Okay, for this Dollar Tree round foam wreath hack, I'm gonna use just part of it. It's actually left over from the previous one that I did. I'm gonna make a hole on each side, I'm just using my little Cricut pokey tool. You can use anything, a screwdriver, whatever you want to stick those holes. 
and I'm going to take some twine or actually kind of like small rope and I'm going to stab it in there with hot glue with my pokey tool. I want to get it in pretty good because I want this to be the hanger and I want it to be solid. I add some more glue in the hole just to really seal it in there. Now I'm going to put Aileen's tacky glue. I like tacky glue for this because hot glue, you can't touch it when you're putting on moss. I've got reindeer moss. I did get the moss, I believe, at Walmart. You can also get them uh, at Dollar Tree and Amazon and all these places. So I want to be able to just push it on and make sure it's attached. There it is, the whole thing. So that's why I don't use hot glue for this. So now the whole thing is covered. I think that looks so cool. Obviously, we're not going to leave it like this. I'm going to be getting some beautiful flowers that I found at Dollar Tree. I couldn't believe they had these gorgeous roses. I don't remember ever seeing roses that look this pretty at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed a bunch. And I'm just going to pull them off the pick and hot glue them right into this little wreath form that I cut. And then I'm going to add these little white flowers that you see on the side above and below. And it it almost has like kind of a bouquet look, but it's a little hanging piece. And it's just a little semi-circle, not even a half circle. I just thought it was really pretty and unique. Have you ever done anything this particular shape? And I would just continue adding all of the white flowers and I did decide to put them at the top, not just the bottom. I thought it looked even better. I think it's stunning. I love it. You could attach this to something else, hang it below it. You know, I just, it, by itself, it's good. You'll have to let me know what you think. It was a little bit different, but very easy to make. Ready for more inspiration? Here's another video I think you'll really like. If you click on it, I will see you there. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.